Hey guys, it's Kate Brochu, and here's what happened this week in Westfield. Westfield mourned the unexpected loss of police detective Eric Lieberman this week. Lieberman, who was 47 years old, died suddenly Tuesday morning. He was a resident of Scotch Plains and a 27-year veteran of the Westfield Police Force. He leaves behind two children. Westfield may get an ice rink this winter. With a 6-3 vote, the town council passed a resolution granting Mayor Shelley Brindle the authority to negotiate a lease with a private company to build a temporary rink. The rink will be at Gumbert Park, and members of the hockey community say the rink will help accommodate the growing demands of ice sports and activities. But several neighbors expressed concerns about how the rink would affect their neighborhood. Video taken at Yestercade showed a woman stealing the tip jar with about $70 inside of it over the weekend, according to the manager. The suspect was described as a woman who is Hispanic, about 35 years old, wearing a black hat, white t-shirt, black sports jacket, and black pants. At a school board meeting on Tuesday, Superintendent Dr. Margaret Dolan revealed that the majority of Westfield school suspensions had to do with students having or using e-cigarettes, according to a recent report. Westfield High School graduation has been moved this year from Keller Field to the backfield behind Westfield High School. In the event of inclement weather, the location will be the Varsity Gymnasium instead of the Westfield Armory. In a letter Friday morning, Superintendent Dr. Dolan and School Board President Gretchen Oleg addressed parents' issues with the changes. The company Boxcar is launching private bus service to Manhattan from Westfield beginning May 29th. In sports, the Westfield boys' tennis team defeated J.P. Stevens to win the sectional title on Monday. And Westfield baseball player Corey Hiltz is this week's Ron Bansky & Associates All-State Westfield Athlete of the Week. Coming up this long weekend is Westfield's annual Memorial Day Parade. Opening ceremonies at the Veterans Memorial Monument begin at 9 a.m. For more information on these events and to learn more about what's happening in our area, be sure to visit the Tap into Westfield events page. That's it for your Westfield Weekly Recap. Be sure to check back next week to stay in the know on Westfield News.